from freshwater to backwater, productive fishing both inshore and offshore, Wilmington and Carolina Beach offer amazing angling opportunities everywhere you turn. Located in coastal southeastern North Carolina, the area is a favorite summertime fishing destination for local and visiting anglers alike. And while the fishing does peak in the warmest months of the year, there's plenty you can look forward to year-round. In this video, we're getting into the fish you can catch, the best spots to visit, and when to plan your trip. But before we get started, make sure you're hitting the like and subscribe buttons below. If you're planning on fishing inshore, you're in luck. Wilmington and Carolina Beach sit in a region called Cape Fear. The area is packed with beaches, barrier islands, and also has access to the Intracoastal Waterway and the brackish Cape Fear River. We'll go deeper into specific fishing spots later in the video, so make sure to keep watching. For now, let's take a closer look at the species you can target inshore. First up are redfish, and they check all the boxes. These fish give great fight, taste delicious, and can be hooked year-round in the Wilmington area. The spring and fall seasons offer particularly productive fishing, with summer not falling close behind. This is also when you can add flounder to your target list, as well as a nice selection of bass. As for speckled trout, like redfish, they're usually a year-round target, especially in the bays and tributaries of the Cape Fear River. But the best time to fish is actually in the coldest months of the year. Inshore trips are a great choice if you're fishing with the family or if you'd like to try and cast a line from the shore or the piers. What most anglers come to Wilmington and Carolina Beach looking for, however, is the action deep offshore. If you're willing to take the journey, Wilmington and Carolina Beach offer offshore fishing that's unlike any other. And it's all thanks to the Gulf Stream, a warm ocean current that flows about 20 miles from shore. This area and beyond is where you're gonna find the big names like Mahi Mahi, Bluefin and Yellowfin Tuna, Wahoo, Billfish, and much more. If you're planning a trip targeting Mahi Mahi, Sailfish, or Marlin, book a fishing charter during the summer, between the months of June and August. During this period, you can encounter big mahi closer to shore than usual, whereas in late July and August, southern North Carolina's deeper waters get renamed Sailfish Alley. As for tuna, they can technically be found in North Carolina's waters year-round, but they prefer colder temperatures. For your best shot at success, find a licensed charter captain who will take you out between January and April or later in the year in November and December. We also have to mention the areas in between. The nearshore waters in Wilmington and Carolina Beach are stocked with kingfish and Spanish mackerel, offering you a taste of what the big game action is like without all the travel. All right, so now that you know more about some of the species you can target in Wilmington and Carolina Beach, it's time to dive deeper into the top fishing spots this region holds. Wilmington is the principal city in this part of North Carolina, and it also encompasses the beach communities of Carolina Beach, Wrightsville Beach, and Couray Beach. All are home to several boat ramps and marinas and plenty of charter guides who can take you out for a day on the water. When it comes to standout inshore fishing, the Mansboro Inlet is a prime spot for both anglers looking to test their skills and experienced folks going after redfish. For flounder, Snow's Cut, a trench connecting the Cape Fear River and the Intracoastal Waterway, shouldn't be missed. And speaking of the Cape Fear River, you won't have to stray too far from downtown Wilmington before you start hooking into striped and largemouth bass. As you move down the river where it becomes rich in oyster beds and marsh grasses, you can also add redfish and speckled trout to your list. As we mentioned earlier, when it comes to offshore fishing, the Gulf Stream lies about 20 miles out, but you can go even further for extra productive fishing. The Steeples, for example, located about 60 miles from Carolina Beach, also hold large populations of deep sea species like marlin and tuna. And finally, the Frying Pan Shoals. You'll definitely need to head out on an extended day fishing trip to visit this shifting underwater mass. Lined with rocks and shipwrecks, it's an environment that creates exceptional bottom fishing year-round. That's fish species and fishing spots covered. There are just a few more things to take care of before you head out. First things first, licenses. 
North Carolina requires a fishing license for all anglers over the age of 16. You can purchase a license online or in person at a local tackle shop. There are also specific regulations regarding the size and quantity of fish that can be caught, so it's important to familiarize yourself with these rules before fishing. However, one of the benefits of fishing with a licensed charter captain in saltwater is that they'll take care of licenses for everyone on board and make sure you're respecting all existing regulations. And that's about it. You're ready to head out on a fishing adventure in Wilmington and Carolina Beach. To make finding the right fishing charter for you and the trip you're planning easier, download the Fishing Booker app. It's available on Google Play and the App Store and allows you to browse the largest selection of fishing charters and book your trip fast and easy. Or check us out online at fishingbooker.com to start planning your trip today.